Hi, it's Matthew Dixon of Mindday.ca. I'm at Cape Spear, the most easterly point in North America. I didn't bike here. Disclaimer, I did not bike here. My friend Megan drove me here. <laughs> and uh, I've never been here before. I've been to St. John's uh, the first time I biked across Canada. The only other time I've been to Newfoundland and Labrador. And But I didn't come out here this t uh, last time. So this is my first time here and it is absolutely gorgeous. Megan says that it can be very windy, horribly windy here sometimes. Horribly. <laughs> we got a good day. <laughs> and it's, I mean, look at the mist there. Look at that. Fog. It's, they're fog. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, that's just unbelievably beautiful. Look at that. And Signal Hill, is that Cabot Tower yeah. way up there? I don't know if you can see that. St. John, St. John's the city is right over there. And that's where I stopped biking up there at the top of Signal Hill uh, two days ago on my trip across Canada. <sighs> There's some uh, two lighthouses. Uh, up here an old one and a new one and there's a bunker here that is that where the cannons are Megan up in there so, yeah. okay <laughs> some cannons that were never used I'm a terrible historian I'm sorry <laughs> some cannons that are never used back many years ago and some war it probably says here on the uh, the, uh, the, the uh, signs here the, I should read them since I'm here Wow incredible Look at the water. I, didn't, I don't know if you saw the the uh, rocks and the waves. I could listen to that all day. Never been here before. Never been here. Some further. I guess that might be the most easterly easterly point out there. We're, we know, I didn't quite make it. I guess. <laughs> There's some tr <coughs> some trails some trails around here, but they're not too long. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'll uh, continue on, I'll keep making some more videos and I'm putting on a party in St. Andrews, New Brunswick at my hometown for when I get back to there next week, uh, Saturday, September 16th uh, in the evening, 4 to 5.30 at Market Square downtown, uh, you can come hang out for a bit and afterwards the band Full Circle is playing from 6 to 8.30 so you can uh, come to my party and then party after my party. <laughs> uh, I've been told they play songs like from the 90s or that uh, that era, uh, lots of songs from back then so they're apparently quite good so looking forward to that and I want to make some videos from there so people can, from away who helped me do this trip. I couldn't have done it without everybody. Um, I want to make take some videos from the party, or at least one, um, and uh, to help uh, to help you guys celebrate too. For those who can't make it, I'm in deep, deep uh, gratitude for all the help I got to do this trip. And yeah, I'm now officially the first person with schizophrenia to bike across Canada. So. Uh, I thought of biking to this point here, Cape Spear, but I thought, uh, um, anyway, I was told later that there's lots of steep hills and we just drove over all of them, so it wouldn't, uh, it, uh, anyway, I'm, I didn't start at the most westerly, westerly point either, I started in Port Moody, Vancouver, uh, at the Burrard Inlet, I didn't want to bike through all of Vancouver, so there's that aspect of it too, so, I'm not, super fussy about that sort of thing. I wanted to show that someone with schizophrenia can do, can handle all the, all the logistics and the motivation to do something like this, uh, the cognition and whatnot. And I've, my brain's working and I just want to give hope to other people with the disease. It doesn't mean you have to bike across Canada too to be good, to be healthy and recovered, but uh, uh, whatever your dreams are, <coughs> hold on to them. Hold on to them. Uh, you've got to have dreams, you've got to uh, keep looking towards the future and knowing that uh, hope is real um, and that uh, you can, it's, it's possible. You, you never know what tomorrow may bring. I never thought I'd be out here and here I am today. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds in store for you? Anyway, Megan's uh, taking me to dinner 
at our mums and uh, looking forward to some St. John's and Newfoundland hospitality and yeah that's all for now and uh, oh here's the uh, monument here the Cape Spear most easterly point anyway talk to you later